Hey guys, today I'm talking about sort of like the weird, more unusual, sometimes can be seen as negative changes after significant weight loss. The stuff that no one really talks about, and some of this stuff is going to be very specific to me as you'll see later. Basically, I've chosen like my top five things that have happened to me after losing 95 pounds that I guess I didn't anticipate when I started losing weight. I didn't think that these things would happen to me. First thing is, I am often very cold. That's super weird for me because I was a furnace. I still am a lot of the time, but it's like now I get to actually experience cold. I feel like in the past when I weighed like 250 pounds, I could probably get away with going through winter without a coat on, you know? I was just always super, super hot. All right, number two, I lost a shoe size. They always talk about you losing like clothing sizes and I think that I probably, I've never sat down and thought about it, but I think that I lost somewhere between four and eight dress sizes. Um, I have to actually look, look into that. I never knew what size I was wearing when I was my biggest because I would like leave my pants open and then just layer on top because they didn't button. But yeah, after I lost a lot of weight, I solidly went down a whole shoe size and it's not like the length of my foot changed or anything. It was like my foot before was pretty wide and then like round, like it was swollen, like my feet were just fat basically. So I had to go a size up in shoes than what I actually wear in order for my feet to fit in them. Also I had a really hard time wearing boots that like laced all the way up because I couldn't um, like the laces were never long enough to go up my calves because my calves were too big. All right, number three is loose skin. Lots of people talk about loose skin. Sometimes people are lucky enough to avoid it or they lose weight slow enough that it doesn't happen, but sometimes it's just the amount of weight that you lose. There's no avoiding it. So I do have loose skin on my body. I have kind of a lot on my back, a little bit on my legs, on like my stomach, but the real like tangible evidence that like my body has shrunk inside my skin is my chest. So I had top surgery probably like 30 pounds ago. I can literally see where my chest has like sunken down. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this. Okay, so here's my chest. Um, you can see when I turn, this is like the line of my pectoral muscle. And so it comes down through this way, comes across like my nipple there into the center. So how I know that my chest has moved is that my nipple used to be like right here. <laughs> this is basically how the surgery used to look. And now the skin is just down a lot farther. So yeah, that's going to be one of those things that's specific to me as having had top surgery. All right, number four is hair loss. So. Being a trans person, I have done hormone therapy, which causes you to lose hair, and I am often significantly stressed out, which also causes you to lose hair. So all three together did cause like a significant loss of hair. I used to have really, really thick hair. I'm not like bald, but my hair is a lot thinner than it used to be, like all over my head. I used to have super, super thick, dense, wavy hair. And you know, now it's just almost an entirely different texture. And I know that a chunk of why that happened to me is because of weight loss, because I started losing weight before I went on testosterone and my hair was falling out then. And the last change, number five, is that I hate a lot of the foods that I used to love, specifically sweet foods. I like fruit. Basically, that's the sweetest thing that I can handle. And it's interesting because I feel like sweets where the number one thing that I was eating that got me to as big as I got. Like I definitely ate my fair share of savory food, but I can remember that like after school, every day in middle school, I would go with my friend down to the gas station and we would get like honey buns, or I basically made it so that I would buy with my, my one dollar, whatever the biggest amount of food was, so it usually ended up being like honey bun, because that was the biggest volume wise thing. So I ate so many of those, and then in high school, I was in a program where I had to 
stay after school like for a couple weeks at a time until like somewhere between 6 or 10 p.m. depending on what we were doing. So in between school and coming back to stay through the night I would go down to a different gas station and I would buy pop tarts and a tub of frosting and I use the pop tarts as like a spoon to eat the frosting and I love that I love that so much but now thinking about doing that today in this day and age makes you want to vomit but yeah I just do not like sweet things anymore I vastly prefer savory things and if I'm making some sort of dessert it's made out of fruit it's only as sweet as the fruit is you know but yeah that's my five unusual changes after massive weight loss i would love to hear if you guys have any changes if you've been through similar things as me please check out the links in the description if you can please 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 support my patreon share it look at it do something <laughs> like or subscribe comment any interaction is very helpful to me and i will see you guys next time bye